Hello, hello. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Okay, guys, my bad. A lot of you guys, I told you guys I'll do a video on Friday, and a bitch got tired as hell. And didn't feel like doing no video. But you got to give people what they want now. Can't just let them hanging. <laughs> so here I am trying to give a video. I got three dropping. No, four dropping today, this morning. So you should have a lot of content. Libra and Aquarius will drop today because they have the most views. And I do bonus videos. And um, we will be doing Mercury Retrograde and Divine Masculine this morning. We're going to start on Divine Masculine because it's kind of important I get you guys together. Okay, so we're going to start with the quote deck. Usually I have a message for y'all, but not this time. I'm going to let the cards read it. This is my masculine energy. Ooh. Adventure awaits and go find it and love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you came out. Two cards, hmm, soulmate energy, or pairs, or karmics energy. Like, um, I get that you people are looking for another half. Maybe Valentine's Day just went by and it was very depressing, sad, you know. Maybe you didn't get everything you were hoping for. Maybe it was a lonely experience, but the two is still out here. In one of these cards, there's a man and a woman hugged up and they're naked, their naked truth. Is here, so definitely someone is looking for an adventure of love because adventure awaits, go find it. And someone wants to love themselves just as bad because they want to be loved by someone else the same way that they are loving themselves. So, for those people who are having self, um, doing self love, self respect um, practices and working on themselves, they're going to attract a mate that or close to a mate which I hope, that will treat them exactly how they mirror their own treatment towards themselves. And it's going to be a perfect relationship for them. Now, I don't mean perfect in the sense of nothing can ever not be, you know, with our error. I mean, like, perfect in the sense of things are going to be wonderful. Like, for they're going to get their dream come true. And I always have a quote for Sister Girl, like, making your own realistic you know, like, like miracle or a fairy tale. Like... We can all have our own adult fairy tales that are we live in them as long as they're within reason, but it still exists. Um, let's see what um, loving yourself is. Let's look. What is love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you? Could I see soulmate here? Yeah, here's the mirror, mirroring someone, self-image, relationships, and wounds. And uh, reflecting our wounds and in introspection. Yeah, you want to meet someone that has been going through the spiritual journey just as bad as you have. You guys have been sitting here mirroring each other, working on all these different aspects of your personality and characteristics that just don't work for you. And you know they don't. You're trying to evolve and be a better person um, for that soulmate connection. The self-image, the relationships in which they reflect our wounds. So you're looking for a deep relationship. Um, something that, uh, again, people have been working on themselves. They haven't been taking the time off to slack off to be into some other shit, goofy shit, because you ain't having it. You know, um, you're trying to get past a breakup of your own. So you don't want anyone to come with you with extra baggage. Now you are moving on. You're being single and living in the moment, spending time with friends and loved ones. So you're not sitting at home just waiting for a, a female or a male pop up and be like, hey, I'm your soulmate. You're actually actively engaging in self-care practices and you are also going out and mingling. So that's good for Divine Masculine. Let's get one more for the love yourself. Let's see what this is. Love call came out. Um, palm tree and keys on the ring. Hmm, interesting. Um, you have a lot of options, Divine Masculine. Um, maybe that's why you haven't really committed because you are still trying to find out what is your perfect, you know, you know what you want, but you haven't found the person to fill the shoes maybe. 
So you have many options. You may go and to and fro and look at the different options that you have acquired. But you have a decision to make, but it's not like a serious, like, for some of you, it's not like a serious decision that you have to rush into because all decisions take time and you got to weigh the pros and cons. But this particular situation, um, maybe you're having uh, unconventional relationships and one night stands. So um, if you are having sex with people and it's you, you... Make sure it's, now I'm not saying you guys aren't having consensual sex, but make sure that you're not stringing people along. They know what it is. It's a one night stand. They're not hoping for more. I mean, you really care nothing about it as long as you are honest up front. Uh, I would just not have as many one night stands and share my body with people that you don't love, you don't care about, that they don't really mean anything to you because sex is so very important. It's so real. Like the sexual connections you have with someone, they are spiritual. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't, I mean, I'm not condemning anyone for having sex with multiple people. I'm just saying that sex is, let's not pretend, it is a very strong you know, uh, energy because you're sharing your body with someone and you guys are sharing energy. And if someone is a negative incubus, you're going to attract the same or the energy from this person you're sharing your body with. Just an example. So, um, divine masculine, you may be going out and fucking different people because you don't have that special someone, but you're creating all these spiritual bonds with people and wondering why you still have a lot of healing to do. Stop fucking opening old wounds with other situations. Like opening your wound and pouring bleach in it. No, you didn't get your finger cut by fucking bleach, but did you have to put bleach in your wound? I don't think that having sex with a whole bunch of people is a good idea. If you're trying to get whole and well, I would just be uh, celibate, honestly. Um, love call is about expressing love, a message of love, and thinking of someone and letting them know. And palm tree is stability, security, permanence, growth, and endurance. So, again, some of you guys are going on vacation with the palm tree, but you're looking for stability. Maybe you have many options that are stable, um, but you're looking for something permanent. So, you're going from keys on a ring and having many options to having one firm option, which is, um, again, I'm not shunning you for that. I'm just saying make sure that you're in a relationship in which you're not just giving your body away to everybody because you're just having a good time. You want to end the night with some warm pussy. Like, okay, that's cool. Or dick or whatever. That's cool. But um, make sure that you're just not creating, like, I'm getting up, I date somebody, or I, I, we go fuck, and it's nothing there. I know it's nothing there. I just fucked her because I wanted my dick wet. Like, no. No. Um, wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would just not even connect to people because if you don't like them and they're not willing, they're not good enough to make a connection in the personality and in the um, getting to know you section, then why, you know, getting to know you part, then why the fuck are you fucking them? Like, yeah, I just know. Why would you connect yourself to someone you feel like you don't want to build a future with? And having sex is connecting yourself in some way. I just, I mean, and unless it's like some type of shared agreement where you guys both know where you guys are coming from, I would not do that. Um, You're looking to express your love, a message of love, letting someone know you're thinking about them. That's very nice. Um, Some of you guys are, some of you guys actually know who you want to be with, for real. Like, y'all know who y'all want to be with. Um, You are falling in love with someone, some of you guys. And that's why I understand the casual sex, like... Maybe you guys have multiple options and you're letting me know that at any time you could decide to switch up. I mean, that's cool. You want your partner to have multiple options as well. You don't want anyone to just... You don't want to walk in a room and, and girls or guys look at you and be like, damn. And you don't want to be the only person like that. You want your mate to also have options. Um... I get that you want you I get that you're a grand divine masculine like you want everybody to know what you do. You always have to do it big with the palm trees and the girl talk. You want the girl to go home and tell everybody she met you, what you did. You want to be gushed on like you like that shit. It's extra attention for you. Um and then you got the kisses and the love call. Yeah, you want everybody that you want this woman that you do or man that you do get with to be like, oh, shit, like, you know, this person did this, this, and that, and they gushing all over the phone and relishing over who you are. It's just like, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I definitely, excuse me, guys. I definitely feel like you're a divine masculine that's dramatic. It could be a Leo. <sighs> or you could be a, um, you could be, who else is grand like that? Aries. I don't think Sag is like that. Sag is really, Sag men, yeah. You could be like that. Um, but I get Leo really hard. Leo is that person who wants everybody to know that they're in the room. And Gemini, too, they're a little dramatic. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. All right, so that was the cards for saving yourself uh, or loving yourself as much as you want your soulmate to. Let's look at the adventure it waits. And we even forgot about the whole adventure. Um, ascending. So you are going through a journey of ascension. Divine Masculine. What else is going on? Okay, the Phoenix. That's really good cards. And the clock. Hmm. And the runner that came out too. The bottom of the deck is sunglasses. Someone is hiding or someone is stalking. You pick which one that you're on. Um, the adventure awaits you. Some of you guys are transcending obstacles and learning, expanding. You're going through a new phase and you're preparing for a union that you want to get into. Male or female or any person you're trying to get with. So you're trying to go for the adventure of love, not really knowing where we're going to go. It's kind of like a mini fool uh, in the tarot. The phoenix is like a new phase, so you're rekindling something. So maybe you maybe maybe you met some ex that you want to start things over with, or you're going through something else, something new with someone, and you're trying to renew or your feelings or just being in love again and transforming. Maybe you didn't want to be in a relationship, and now you're changing your mind, and that's something that you're interested in. So I do see the ascension and the um, the phoenix card are very deeply spiritual cards. It's like you are knocking out core issues that either it could be um, family generational curses. It could be like breakup stuff that you are still healing from. It could just be life experiences that you're start charting to gain wisdom from to solve issues. But I do see that there is some type of progression. The only thing I'm con concerned about is it says you need more time to heal and you take all the time you need. I mean, really, who can really time the adventure or the time the path to yourself? Like, don't rush that timing. Like, really take it in to really grow and reflect on self. I mean, honestly. And then the sunglasses, um, that kind of bothers me at the bottom because, like, you are either watching, looking, or stalking. I don't know who you are with or who's with you, but someone is watching you, the runner, in a codependent relationship for your intimacy. Maybe that's the old you where you ran and you peaked. It just seemed like it. Or someone is actually running to you. And that is a part of your adventure. While you're moving on with your life, someone's moving on with your life too. Like Someone is like really watching the shit out of you. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let's go into Linerman. Divine Masculine. Because I haven't even touched the row yet. Let's see. Divine Masculine. What we got here. Divine Masculine. Okay. Um, yeah, it was interesting. A car fell out before... Um, I dropped the first five came out change number one, but the first one that came out was tree and it was reversed. And I usually don't read Linderman cards reverse because you really can't. But in this regard, I am going to try to honor it. Um, the, the tree card is about a person who is really connected to, um, I would say spirituality, the mental, the spiritual, the physical plane, regenerating themselves, evolving, becoming mature. Some type of shamanistic tribal connections can also be the tree. Um, someone that's really into spiritual life or they're into um, psychic or mediums or religion or some type of historicisms or philosophical ideas. Reverse is like, to me, someone that is not connected. So you could be trying to get connected. You're trying to connect to your roof your roots and maybe you're thinking about taking spiritual baths or you're looking for a well-rounded clergy member or maybe a spiritual teacher or maybe you're just trying to get into some type of religious practices 
But um, I don't think that you have really been in them that long or maybe this type of practice you haven't tried yet. I get the feeling that you're looking into something. The tree in the book is about um, the uh, tree is about health and knowledge. And the book is looking into something, analyzing something, studying something. Um, you could be looking into some type of historic knowledge, spiritual historicism, like uh, a spiritual reading or medicine in the metaphysical. So I get that you are studying, you're beginning to learn, or you're trying to understand it. Uh, if you are that divine masculine that's trying to learn and understand spirituality, um, give me a call. My number is up there. It should be 702-969-5427. Give me a call, and um, I definitely will go over some things with you. Now, I will charge you, of course, but it won't be a big charge. But if you want to know more about car reading and um, maybe you want to know more about um, candles and prayers and um, high priestess work. I mean, I'm not a high priestess. I don't consider myself as a high priestess. I consider myself as a medium or a spiritualist. But I know about that stuff. So Divine Master, if you're really interested in like getting your toes wet, you don't know, we don't really know who to talk to about that type of stuff. Maybe you want to buy your family or maybe you just haven't gotten the right answers. I mean, I'm available. Um, you can feel free to email me or um, send me um, a, a DM and I definitely will message you. Just tell me, hey, I'm Divine Master from the, the video and, you know, I want to know more about ABCD, you know, and say I've come here to learn and I definitely will teach you. Um, I like teaching people stuff, but, um, yeah, so it seems like you're just trying to get plugged in or you weren't plugged in before, but you're trying to get plugged in. Um, that's dope. You know, I feel like that's cool that you are trying to find yourself and get connected to your spiritual roots. That's dope. You know, uh, it's never, it's never too late to do that. The sun is about finding yourself again. The sun is a great card. Being celebrated, being honored, um, illuminating your path, realization of dreams. Maybe you feel like spirituality, connecting to it will realize your dreams. And you're right about that. Dispelling any type of ignorance or darkness, getting some type of recognition or fame. Now, I will say that spiritual work, you should be trying to get you together. If you're using it to get famous, eh, reevaluate motivations. Because you can do anything once you pretty much get connected to who you are. So I think that once you finally realize who you are and like who God made you to be or some some fundamental um, idea of your purpose, you know, you'll be able to connect to power, fame, recognition and get a higher self, a self-esteem and check your ego and pride at the door. But um, the sun is about having a very charismatic, alluring personality. So um, maybe you, again, you're trying to get a victory and so um, maybe you're or maybe you're already accomplished and you're not connected and you're trying to get connected. Now, the bear is upside down. The bear is a woman, usually a big woman, like a burly woman, a woman that has a bunch of kids. She's reversed. Now, I wasn't going to say nothing, but now I am. Is someone barren? I get that someone is barren. The tree is about being uh, fruitful. Someone is not fruitful. The bear is a mom. Someone is not a mother or someone cannot have any more children. Um, I don't know if that's important to you, but someone can't have no kids. The mother bear will defend their cubs. Maybe you're not a good mother or I'm not, or maybe you have a baby mama that's not a good mom. I'm, I know you're a divine masculine. You're like, I'm not a mom, but I mean, hey, maybe you are attracting people that are not good moms or they're not good protectors or you're not trying to protect anyone. The bear is about protection. It's about um, guarding and protecting and taking action. Maybe you're not taking action. Maybe you are wanting to connect to the spiritual realm, but you're not trying to get too deep in or you're not, you're not taking control. You're not getting power or authority. You're not getting, you're not using your force. You're connected with a higher power position. You're, you're in a higher position, but yet you don't, you just don't. You just don't connect to it. Like, that's why you maybe you need a guide. But this is a nurturing, caring, caring and tendering energy. A person in a high position, a boss. So maybe you are a boss, but you're not taking the initiative to go after this. Or maybe you're getting advice from someone that isn't 
on the same platform as you compared to the sun. They don't have that platform that you do. Um, and that could just be what it is. Like they don't have that platform and, um, you could be going after someone or you could be yourself, be someone that has a lot of hair on your face. So you, maybe you're a big guy or overweight. You could be voluptuous. I hate to say that, but you know, usually you describe women that way, but you could be voluptuous. You could be big. Okay. You could be a little overweight, but, um, you don't protect or oversee. You don't make decisions. Maybe you are afraid. It says that you're lucrative. You have some money. Like, it says you're doing well for yourself. Maybe you're trying to get your weight under handle. Maybe you're trying to get your diet, your nutrition under order. Maybe you have some type of eating disorder. Maybe, you, maybe you've maybe you gotten bullied for being overweight with the bear. But you don't want to be seen as the bear. Like, you're trying to separate yourself from that. You're trying, but it does say you want to expand your knowledge. But with the bear reverse, I get that you're procrastinating. You're very highly intellectual. Maybe you're good at record keeping. Someone is in finances. They could be a credit preparer spe specialist or they could be into um accountant or um something to do with that or um entry level, but I definitely see someone is in record keeping or accountants or maybe they're studying the market, could be in a stock market. Um the flower is here. Um, this could be help on the way someone is trying to help you or assist you. I mean, again, I already offer it. My number is 702-969-5427. I would love to help another person know more about the historic knowledge that I have already learned over years and I have no problem sharing. But there's a, some type of beautiful arrangement of flowers in this card. It basically talks about affection, friendship, and love. So maybe you were, um, did you know you were avoiding it? You were avoiding it because, let's be honest. I'm sorry, God dropped my phone, y'all. <laughs> let's be honest. You are trying to make sure things go as planned. But you're procrastinating because you're afraid they won't. Are you trying to surprise someone? I do have to ask you. But this is about the end of worries, difficulty, and stress. Maybe you're stressed about your weight. Maybe you feel like you're not connected. Maybe you feel like you need to do some extra stuff before you can come out. Maybe. I don't... Um, being happy and pleased. So yeah, it says you may be having some insincere feelings, like you're insecure maybe, but happiness and joy is here, a positive answer or receiving help from people. Yeah, it seems like um, you could be receiving help from someone. Maybe you want to be a beautician or a hairdresser, or maybe you think about being a vegetarian. Um, some of you guys are narcissists, but um, if you're not a narcissist, I'm not trying to get on Divine Mass and make them feel like, damn, bitch. You know, like, I'm not trying to do that. Um, but, yeah, some of you guys, definitely. The bouquet in the book is studying up on homeopathic medicine. Maybe you're trying to figure that out. Maybe you're into that. Maybe you're a doctor. Uh, it does say that maybe you're trying to gift shop for people in your family or do a deep study of every gift before you buy it. Uh, maybe you're trying to understand or investigate something or trying to find what's right for you. That's cool. Like, you should. You should definitely try to find out what will work for you. Like, you need to know if it's worth putting your energy into. Um, Here's the thing. The, the book was the last card to come out, and the book flew out away from the spread. You got secrets. You got secrets. That's why you don't want nobody to do shit for you. You don't want to reach out and get deep in because your ass got some fucking secrets that you don't want motherfuckers to stumble on well i hate to break it to you but if you're in the spiritual world especially working with me i'm gonna find out even when i don't do a reading i'm gonna find out because you can't hide your fucking past present and future because you you dig it in but you shallowly digging because you don't want a motherfucker to find out what the fuck you didn't did but you didn't did some shit like that as long as ain't nothing illegal i mean what the fuck can anybody say i mean that's your shit you self-conscious about whatever the fuck you didn't did i mean i guess if that's how you feel but you know damn well whatever you're hiding is going to come out so good luck with that uh, especially, you know, maybe that's why you haven't run out to anybody because you're trying to figure it out. But I mean, when I was doing it myself, it took me a couple of years. Uh, I've been doing a lot of attraction for 10 years. So it took me by myself 10 years um, to really master it because I wanted to really take hold and get it. You know, my journey was long, full of experiences, I will say. Uh, maybe yours wasn't as long as mine, but mine was definitely long. Um... The cards, I really don't care about them because I've been doing cards in my head. Like, I know shit anyway. 
I don't even need a deck. This is a gimmick. <laughs> this like I'm not saying that cards are a gimmick, but I'm just saying like I don't need no deck for nothing. I'll read you without a deck, and I'll be right too. So just like maybe you feel like you just don't want motherfuckers to see, you know, what you know what you have secret or the this appeals to you. Maybe you don't want motherfuckers. Maybe you go around the corner to study this shit. Maybe you motherfuckers like what you reading? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Like you're hiding something. You're hiding your knowledge and education. Like everybody around you is celebrated the sun. Like they're doing really well for themselves. Um, yeah, like they're not connected either. And they, you know, you, you got a lot of nice things coming in. It just seems like you are in a very high place. And you could be like in designs or accounting, audit. I get accounting very well or some type of financial job. Maybe the um you're interested in the hidden mysteries, everything that's secret, secret teachings, occult teachings, um, breakthroughs, things that are confidential. You're very interested in the secret world, but it says that you are examining, probing, and hiding, hush hushing it. Don't tell anybody. You're looking deeper and hiding your feelings. Some of you guys are a bookworm or you're brainy. You don't want people to know what you're studying because you don't want to look like a fucking nerd or you don't want to look like the kind of person who they are doing some witchcraft shit. You want some type of academic victory or success. And I, I'm, I guess cool. Like I said, I just feel like um, if you're going to be spiritual, why the fuck do you have to hide who you are for other motherfuckers? Like it's, this goes back to that fucking Scorpio reading. Somebody is fuck or Gemini. Somebody is fucking ashamed of what they choose to follow and shit. Eh, I guess. Somebody's a pussy or someone is acting scared. I'm not trying to call you out your name, Divine Masculine. But I mean, if you only got one fucking life, right? And you can only live so many fucking hours, days, and weeks, and years. And it's not even fucking promise. You're going to let another motherfucker tell you that it's weird or wrong or stupid to study something that you're interested in. If you want to fuck study and study it. No one's telling you to practice that shit that's different. You can't even read the book in class. You got to fucking hide that shit behind a fucking comic book like you in class, like you a kid. Hell no. What kind of friends are those? I don't know who you fucking with, but they not woke. Or you, you, can't, you can't live your life and vibrate higher with dumbass dead people. You're going to have to leave the room of the dead. I mean, you can't say you're spiritually awoken. That's why you ain't really trying to dig deep in because you know when you take a step into that whole direction, you cannot go back. It's just not, it's like Neo. You can't go back, bruh. You can't plug back into the Matrix. It's just no. All right. Let's look at Divine Masculine. Some of your um, older women in your family have really been riding you. It could be like you have, it's an older woman that fell out the deck and hope came reverse. Some of you guys are being influenced by your mother or an aunt. Somebody is in there telling you this shit's stupid. You shouldn't be doing it. Someone is a very, very Christianized person, very religious. Uh, they they could be Jewish. Uh, it'd be anybody. Uh, but someone feels like your future plans will be disrupted. Anything that you're hoping to unfold will be misplaced. Expect some type of disappointment. Someone is pessimistic. Your mama, your aunt, someone is a rival to you. They want to take advantage of you and defeat you. Now, usually this woman, old woman, usually has great advice. And that's why she's upright. But in this particular event, in situation, she's not. She's actually wrong. Um, yeah, no. Because it, it doesn't discredit her as being a very smart person. Because if she was always wrong, she would be reversed. But in this situation, she usually gives you um, good advice or counsel. Or she could be a mother-in-law. So she usually is a grandmother, a mother, an aunt, or some female that reassures you, a pacifist. But this woman is not correct because, I mean, it says that she's trying to dampen or miss... It, it's just, no, your mom is... Somebody's mama is controlling. Somebody's mom. Why'd you give the hope in the uh, old woman to divine master? Thief. Thief. Maybe you got robbed before. Maybe you got taken advantage of. Maybe she just wants to protect you. Yeah, young woman and fortune. It's about a girl. Maybe, uh, yeah, it seems like your mama 
she doesn't mean any harm. She just sees you fucking with stupid, goofy-ass motherfuckers. Divine masculine, that's kind of your fault, though. You've been fucking with goofy-ass, dumb-ass, unwoke bitches for a while. So now your mom sees you in these books and sees you studying and shit. Like, what the fuck you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get deeper in. For what? Your mama know you better. For what? Oh, well, uh, yeah, it's a girl, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so what's all this shit? She don't know what the fuck it is. She's not really into this shit. She thinks it's a gimmick or a lie or bullshit. Or then she thinks that it's demonic and she wants to keep you away from, oh, my son, I can't have him help. I, I mean, I have a, I get it. I have a son. His name is Jacob. And um, I be calling him Jake. And it sounds like Drake. <laughs> but, like, Jake, seriously, like, my son, I would be weary. But I wouldn't try to stop my son from being with someone because I don't fucking understand or know that person. I would just do a reading on them and try to get to see see more about them. I don't never want to judge somebody by their cover. But um, your mama is taking on the theft card. It says an interruption. Something will leave a mark, a robbery, a fraud, or a falsification of documents or misplaced confidence. She just doesn't want you to be misplaced. She feels like, oh, I don't want you to be in a situation where... Um, you get taken advantage of by this younger woman who's not mature. She's in, she, she looks at this woman as small and insignificant. Um, the misfortune card comes out. This is your mother's perspective. She feels like this whole situation is going to go bad. It's going to be an accident, a failure, a lost cause, a turn for the worse. She's very pessimistic. Um, I, I don't like it. Like she's, she, You're trying to ascend maybe you should keep your mom out of your business. Maybe your mom should be excommunicated when it comes to having an opinion about what you're going to spiritually do for your practices. I don't tell my mom everything. Like, I love my mom. My mom is very close. I have a vetted cancer moon. So my mom and I talk all the time. When my mom has those harsh Aries opinions, I'm like, okay, you know what? Thank you, but I have to go. Because she got an Aquarius rising, and she would get to talk it, and I'd be like, you know what? That's your respective. I get it. I respect it, Mom, but I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do because I'm fucking 31, and I only got one life, and yeah. I love you. Respect your wisdom. Would never question you as far as you telling me to hunt 100, but I'm not going to sit here and just live under a bubble of your advice when I have my own fucking life. I'm grown. I'm going to take the titty out of my mouth and do what the fuck I got to do for me. Let's see. What is up with divine masculine if he went to deep into spirituality what would be the outcome because like fuck what she said all right the faux card the lord the thought this is your shit mm, this is your shit yeah this is your shit the thought part the thought is reversed like you have a lot of racing i don't know what's wrong with your thoughts but i see why you ran to I see why you ran to this type of, uh, you know, faith. Or I mean, you see why you're curious. I see why you want to know more. You have a lack of thought. You don't think for yourself. You don't consider yourself. You're thoughtless. You haven't given any situation thought. Or you haven't thought about things. You have a very troubled mind. Like, you need to review your mind. You have anxious anxiety that's not productive. Like, you are anxious for no particular reason. That's not a good idea. Never go into something, not saying that you shouldn't go into your spiritual practices with some type of anxiety, but happy anxiety. Like, I can't wait to know what's going to go. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared. Well, then you keep expecting some negative shit, my nigga, it's going to happen to you. Be end. Like, yeah, you, you your, your mama just spooked the shit out of you, and now you're afraid to go and do some shit because your mama told you it's it's a lion outside. It's a kitty cat. <laughs> this motherfucker got fucking vision problems and shit. And it's a lion. You going outside, you're afraid of a lion, and the kitty cat in the window looking like, meow. You're like, oh, my God, that's a lion. No, motherfucker. I'm looking for the lion. There is no lion except for that lion-ass mama you got. <laughs> Like, I'm just saying, like, you and you would never know if she's being honest or not unless you go and find out for yourself. I don't let nobody tell me their experiences, especially if I want to do something. I'm going to find out for myself. I could be the hermit reverse. I'm not going to let another motherfucker tell me what I can't experience unless it's something I know that is, for me, in my heart, my gut feeling is bad. But Divine Masculine, you don't have gut feelings. You don't think. So the thought requires reverse. You just, you let other motherfuckers dictate what the fuck you can and can't do for some of you. The widower, it's about an end of solitude or sadness. 
uh, mourning what it's time to move on. So maybe you're using your spirituality to move on from a situation. That's okay. That's decent because spirituality does help you become a better man um, or a masculine so that you can pretty much attract healthier relationships. You know, that's okay. That's fine. Um, but yeah, no, um, I do see here that there could be a dispute or an obstacle. Um, maybe you're trying to remove this situation. Maybe you don't want your mommy pissed off. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the child card. Maybe you feel like it won't bear you any fruit. The child card is about um, something that's immature or it dies off before it gets a chance to grow. Like an abortion, if you were to get rid of a child, it would, before it got a chance to grow, it's dead. Um, someone, this, okay, so this is kind of taking a turn. For those of you who want to have a child, maybe you're with a woman who can't have kids. I keep saying that. Um, failed plans, indecisiveness, or worry, or anxiety. Um, uh, immaturity or a fear of failure. So you, the reason why we can't look at the future because you haven't even made a move and you decided uh, this is a, a dumbass idea before it began, there's a fortune card here. So maybe you feel like it won't bear any fruit with this woman. Like maybe you're trying to marry someone. There's a wife here, but she's reversed. Um, the wife is about a woman that loves and cares for you, takes care of you. But in this one, a break, a separation, um, someone that's not faithful or a, not a good wife or someone that you shouldn't start a family with or someone that's breaking up with their family. Hmm. Now, some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all are dating somebody who can't have children and they are married, married to someone else. And they're not dating. They're not. They're not thinking about you. Maybe you're trying to impress this person. I don't know, but maybe you feel like this person will never leave their relationship. Uh, maybe you feel like you'll never have that fortunate child that you want. Man, I don't know what the fuck this even is, yo. Let's look again. Um, divine masculine. I'm using the Gypsy Oracle deck. Um. If, man, I need to re-ask that because I just get mommy energy all over it. Um, so Divine Mastin hasn't taken any steps or he's just putting his toe in the water. Um, what would happen if he actually um, decided to submerge his whole foot into spirituality for himself for real? You know, really trying to decide what is best for him as a man and dip his toe for real. Like not even dip his toe, like submerge himself. Yeah, it just says that you're not trying to. Yeah. What the... F Yo. All right. Some of y'all ain't gonna take that journey. The child's reverse. You're just like, no, it's not gonna work out. The falseness card. You're not even trying to get... In. You're, you're really not trying to be spiritual. Like, you're just trying to look spiritual. Or um, for some of you guys, you just don't want to get too deep in because you're afraid of people think about you if you were to be engaged. Or you just... Someone is not sincere. They're not sincere about the journey. They're not genuine. They're mean or wicked or they, they're false flattery. Someone could be using this to just be close to someone. Empty promises, weak foundation, insincerity, deception. Someone's heart's not in it. Yeah, they're not. You're not in it. You're not really in that journey. The journey card is going somewhere. It's a man on a horse. Your ass, they even got your bags packed. You're still in bed. Like, no, you're not really into this. The priest... The priest is about thoughts. It's also a spiritual worker. So the priest card is here, right? It's about ethics and morality. Someone deciding to do the right thing, contemplating on situations, and then coming up with the conclusion of a matter is the priest. Um, spirituality, beliefs, and um, a counselor, legal opinions, regulations. It seems like the priest is about something that's sacred, the higher power. In under reverse, the child is over it, which means you're not trying to do anything spiritual. Good versus evil, examining one's conscience and reminding of personal responsibility for thoughts and actions and knowing there's more to life than the physical world. Um, pressing legal matters that require attention. So basically, you are not going to press this. This is about religion, faith, and, and spirituality. You're not going to do it. You're just not. You. This is a legal opinion you need. Or an assessment that you need. You might actually write someone with a letter. I do see you reaching out to someone maybe. That's as much as you're going to do. 
Um, the letter is uh, talking to someone, a letter, an email, um, expressing your feelings or requesting a meeting or protesting something or giving an answer or apologizing to someone. Um, just electronic form could be online, could be social media, could be a phone call. You're trying to talk to someone. Um, the wedding. Are you trying to marry someone? I, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. The wedding is about a partnership and marriage, uh, responsible relationships, um, agreement or a contract. Are you trying to make a contract with someone? A new beginning? An approved and requited love? Something that's a... I don't think it's a relationship as far as romance. I think it's a business meeting or a negotiation or a spiritual consultation at most. So you might be actually spiritually consulting with someone or maybe you feel like that would be the best thing, but it's not for real reasons. The doctor, it's, it's some bullshit. Somebody is not really trying to be deep. Someone that you trust, you feel like you feel like um, you can't trust them. You can't trust people. They're not going to be of help. They can't solve your disease or issues or you're not going to take their advice. You're not going to use their advice to solve your situations. You're close minded and you refuse help. So you're not going to. It's going to be extended period of difficulty without guidance. And there's not enough help available. So basically, you're not going to get no help. You're going to have to reevaluate and lay down a, a foundation of healing since this one that is clearly good for you. Or it could help you find the right one for you because you're not doing anything. You're just not. It, it, so a lot of these cards that are negative are yours. Like you just refuse to. If you do jump in, it's not real. And if you don't jump in, you never, you always wonder why and you're not getting your spiritual healing. So, I, I mean, this particular point, divine masculine, I mean, nothing that anyone can say can help you. You are going to have to decide if you want to be deeply spiritual or you just want to waste your time because it seems like you're wasting your time here. Um, I'm going to end on Tarot. It's like a woman is controlling you. Um, Let's see. Anything else for Divine Masculine? You know, that's mommy issues. Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, you are not going to get what you want. Three of Swords is loss, regrets. You regret something. What is Divine Masculine? Regret, Three of Swords. Um, the High Priestess. Yeah, you regret it. You are attracted. Eight of Swords and the, and, the, um, and the Knight of Cups. It's like you like this person, the Queen of Cups. You want this so bad, but you don't go after it. The high priestess is a very attractive, deep, mysterious woman. She could be a water sign. You feel trapped in your feelings. You don't talk about them, the eight of swords. You feel like there's nothing I can do. Yes, it is. You just don't want to. You're being a coward. I mean, that's on you. The uh, knight of cups is about someone that's discouraged or unmotivated. Yeah, they feel like emotionally unmotivated because they let someone else control them. The queen of cups. What is the six of wands? For Divine Masculine, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Eight of Wands. Someone, someone is obstructing. Maybe you feel like you want to pay homage or you want to pay someone and you feel like it's going to be bad news, a business venture, or something's not going to work out. What is the Eight of Wands reverse? Um, yeah, Five of Wands and Six of Swords. You don't want any fighting or drama. I get with that old woman. You don't want the drama from your mama, <laughs> pretty much. Or other people that, oh, you shouldn't do this and that. Uh, what's the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands? Yeah, fights. A lot of fights. Yeah. Um, I get this mama again. Ten of Wands, reprioritizing. Four of Swords, wanting to go on but can't. The Queen of Swords is a negative, elite, spiteful person. Um, she's stuck on this person. She feels like this person is destructive. So someone is sick or they're about to die, this queen of swords, or she keeps going on and on. She's fucking crazy. It's this caution for her. You're going to have to reprioritize this woman who keeps telling you this other person is bad, but it says you're going to, um, the 10 of swords is about a comeback to resolve some type of issue. So maybe you will talk to the high priestess slash queen of cups. The Seven of Swords, you're going to get caught by your mother, the Justice card. So Seven of Swords is about um, getting caught in situations or slander. Maybe your mama's going to talk shit about you behind your back. Um, justice, legal. It could be your wife. 
could be married to someone, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Uh, why I say Scorpio? Taurus or a Libra, could be dealing with Scorpio. But um, this High Priestess, this Justice card, this Seven of Swords. Um, let's see what Seven of Swords is for Divine Masculine. Um, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're afraid someone's going to talk shit about you doing business. Like, you're the King of Pentacles. You don't want to be looked at as, yeah, the world working in limitations, Six of Pentacles, giving money. The devil is about black magic. You think that someone's going to talk shit. Five of Pentacles, a rebound or refurbishing yourself. The lover is people's opinions. They mean well. They're trying to steer you and tell you what to do. The Four of Wands can be about disappointments. Yeah, it seems like you don't want people to know what you're doing. So you want to, you know, do it in secret. You're afraid of getting caught up. Yeah. And you're also afraid of this empress, like you're afraid of her doing you wrong and you're trying to get some type of legal contract going on. It's a lot of shit going on. Maybe you're trying to find a for a perfect spiritual worker, you're in sacred, I don't know. But anyways, if you want some advice, I'm available. I'm not in that bullshit. I got my own rules and regulations with my company. But if you want to get some general information, absolutely. But um, because I do cards, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know if I would even want to step foot in that situation because I'm not dealing with anybody's mama. If somebody's mama don't like me, I don't have to ever meet them. <laughs> I do a job and my job is over. I'm not in the business of pleasing anyone. So, but anyways, though, other than that, though, um, Divine Masculine, this has been your reading. Um, let me know how you feel about it and we will talk next time. Bye.